We haven't been to the Upside Down in over two years, which is way too long. The kids in Hawkins have grown up from the innocent kids we used to know. So, when can we expect it to grace our screens again? And then, what is the news surrounding the upcoming season not being set in Hawkins? Stay tuned to find out everything you need to know, along with other must-watch Stranger Things Season 4 updates. First up, where will Stranger Things Season 4 be set? One would imagine that one of the major mysteries of Stranger Things Season 4 is whether Hopper is still alive. But Netflix isn't pulling a Jon Snow on us. And due to the first Season 4 teaser, we already know Hopper is alive. Netflix has since released a new synopsis for the latest season of Stranger Things, which explains that six months have passed since the Battle of Starcourt, which completely terrorized and destroyed Hawkins. Now, the group of friends is separated for the first time ever as a result of the entire aftermath, and negotiating the complexity of high school hasn't made things any easier. Meanwhile, a new and terrifying supernatural villain emerges at this most vulnerable time, posing a horrible puzzle that, if answered, could ultimately put an end to the Upside Down's atrocities. Pretty freaky, right? Now, in terms of the setting, Netflix also previewed the fourth season's debut with four new posters that highlight the new season's primary destinations. The first is Russia, where our old friend Hopper is currently residing. Then there's The Lab, Eleven's horrific childhood home. Then there's the eerie old Creel Mansion, which was previewed in one of the Stranger Things 4 promos as well. Finally, California, which is set to be the new home of Will, Jonathan, Joyce, and Eleven. Additionally, another trailer snippet showed a Eleven, Will, and Jonathan, Charlie Heaton, living in California, confirming that the season will most likely be based outside of Hawkins. Eleven is seen sending Mike, Finn Wolford, a letter about their forthcoming spring break, and her voiceover gives him an update on her new life in the West. A montage of high school memories is followed by further violent shots featuring weapons and explosions. Now, the final image teased by the brothers on Twitter brings everything together, showing all the separate locations in one poster. It will be very interesting to see how the dynamic changes when the group is all in different locations throughout the season, as we're so used to seeing them all together just in Hawkins. Also, in terms of behind-the-scenes locations, we now know that filming took place in Atlanta, a Lithuanian jail, and Mexico. What do you think this season will look like being in different locations? Will it completely change the dynamic? Okay, on to the official release date. We know now that Stranger Things Season 4 began filming in March 2020, but COVID-19 greatly delayed things. The fourth season is not set to premiere in 2020, according to a teaser video for the show. Stranger Things Day, November November 6 then offered us a new release date for the season, with a summer 2022 window. In the Southern Hemisphere, this is winter. The upcoming highly anticipated season has been given a release date, or two in fact. Stranger Things 4 Volume 1 will be released on May 27, 2022, while Season 4 Volume 2 will be released on July 1, 2022. Stranger Things will also get a fifth and final season, which means the show isn't over yet and we have a lot more in store to look forward to. Next, let's delve into the cast of Stranger Things Season 4. Four, Mike Wheeler, Finn Wolford, Will Byers, Noah Schnapp, Lucas Sinclair, Caleb McLaughlin, Dustin Henderson, Gaten Matarazzo, Max Mayfield, Sadie Sink, and Eleven, Millie Bobby Brown have all graduated from middle school and will of course be the main characters throughout season four. Will's brother Jonathan, Charlie Heaton, and mother Joyce, Winona Ryder, keep an eye on the California group, while Steve Harrington, Joe Keery, and Nancy Wheeler, Natalia Dyer, keep watching Hawkins. Now, in terms of faces we might not see unless in a flashback, Billy Hargrove, Dakri Montgomery, perished while rescuing the children from the Mind Flayer, to whom he had become a slave conduit. And Dr. Alexei, Alec Utkoff, a Russian, was also unfortunately shot and murdered. On the other hand, it has been confirmed that Hopper, David Harbour, a police chief who is imprisoned in Russia and works on a railway, will be back. Additionally, for the upcoming season, Erica Sinclair, Priya Ferguson, and Murray Bauman, Brett Gelman, have been upgraded to series regulars, so expect to see a lot more of them. To add to these core cast members, the series officially unveiled new characters entering Season 4 in two Instagram photos. The following rookies were introduced and detailed on November 20th, 2020. This list included Victor Creel, played by Robert England, who is a strange and scary man incarcerated in a mental institution. Jonathan's new best friend, Argyle, played by Eduardo France, who's described as a fun-loving stoner who works as a pizza delivery boy. Peter Ballard, portrayed by Jamie Campbell Bauer, who's a sympathetic orderly at a psychiatric facility. Lieutenant Colonel Sullivan, played by Sherman Augustus, a no-nonsense man who feels he has the solution to Hawkins' evil. Jason Carver, played by Mason Dye, a wealthy athlete who's dating the most popular girl at school. Dimitri is portrayed by Tom Vlaschia, who's a nice and intelligent Russian jail guard. Yuri, played by Nikola Jericho, who's a mercurial Russian smuggler who enjoys stupid jokes, cash, and crunchy peanut butter. And Eddie Munson, portrayed by Joseph Quinn, the head of the official D&D club at Hawkins High, the Hellfire Club. Additionally, Vicky, Amy Beth McNulty, Patrick, Miles Truitt, Miss Kelly, Regina Ting 
Ming Chen and Chrissy, Amy Beth McNulty, were revealed as new characters in early June 2021. So, as you can see, there are a lot of new faces gracing our screens. Another piece of info dropped, revealing that characters will spend much more time in the Upside Down than ever before. This season, the Upside Down's supernatural setting will play a major role. Season 4 promises to provide some explanation for those who are still unsure about what the parallel reality is and how it works. Ross Duffer said in an interview with Deadline that he and Matt wrote a 20-page paper describing the show's backstory, particularly the Upside Down. Ross also noted that the goal of Season 4 was to go closer to the essence of the series' mythology. They even requested an extra episode, which Netflix quickly accepted, according to Matt. Secondly, there's a new supernatural threat, aka the Vecna. Vecna has been presented as one of the fourth season's new villains. Many followers believe Vecna is Billy, reincarnated in some way. In Dungeons & Dragons, the game that the four boys played at the start of the series, Vecna is an important character. The lore behind Vecna, who goes by several names, including Undying Wizard, was revealed by Entertainment Weekly. Demo Bats accompany Vecna as well. Season 3's Mind Flayer faces a new level of threat from Vecna and his bats, and Eleven uses her talents to fight back. Eleven can no longer telekinetically summon or push things away. Strangely and without explanation, towards the end of Season 3, her abilities have vanished. The Mind Flayer stabbing of Eleven's ankle in the Starcourt Mall is the only thing that can be linked to this. Eleven's skin was punctured, but a fragment of the thing stayed inside her flesh, wiggling around until Nancy and Jonathan had no other option except to remove it. Finally, Stranger Things megastar Millie Bobby Brown promises answers in the upcoming Season 4. Stranger Things 4 star Millie Bobby Brown claims that this season will bring lots of answers. She appeared on Jimmy Fallon's Late Night Show to discuss the Netflix sensation. Definitely lots of answers. Lots of sobbing. Lots of laughing, the actress teased. With a terror depicted in the Netflix teaser trailer, some answers will be required. Eleven is settling into a new life in Los Angeles. Her powers don't appear to have returned, and she's being tormented by the popular kids at school. As if that weren't horrible enough, it appears that she and the other Hawkins kids are on the verge of an extra-dimensional disaster that will touch them regardless of where they are in the country. There's certainly a lot of intrigue, and the popular actress isn't letting many of these secrets out of the bag, but she did offer a slight hint by pointing towards the tagline for the fourth season. She stated, The main part, and the slogan of this storyline, is it's the beginning of the end, Brown told the host. We really have to dig deep into Eleven's beginning and how she became who she is with the people around her, and how to gain that autonomy and become this woman on her own. So this storyline this season really digs into that. Sadie Sink, a fellow cast member, recently told People Magazine that things got really wild this time. This is the strangest season we've ever had, Sink said. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Stranger Things Season 4, how it's not set in Hawkins like we're used to. Thanks for watching.